what's this uh, object here on the optics track here, JJ? Well, Dan, it's um, it is a uh, a light source. Uh, there's a sm there's a lamp inside here, and there is a translucent screen here uh, that's illuminated by the light source that's inside. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this in our experiment as our object. Looks like something you might see at your optometrist. Yeah, that's right. There are there are lines on here to make measurements both left and right and up and down for uh, additional experiments if we wanted. And here in the middle, that looks like a convex lens. And that's something else that is at the optometrist. It's what he's studying in your eye, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. This is a, a double convex lens or a converging lens that we're gonna use in our experiment. We actually don't know what the focal length is. That's this what this experiment is based on. We're going to collect some data and try to experimentally determine what the focal length of that lens is. Okay, I think we need to measure the object distance and then the image distance to do that. Right, okay, so let's start with an object distance um, of 24 centimeters. Okay. And so that's the distance between the screen here and the lens. So this is our object distance. And I'm gonna use the scale here on this track as my guide, 10, 20, one, two, three, four centimeters. And now uh, this lens should produce a real image. But I don't see anything there. Okay, so let's adjust this. So we're gonna adjust this viewing screen until we see the image in focus. I'm gonna kind of go back and forth until I find it. And that looks good right about there. And so the image distance would be from the lens to the screen then. Right, so once it's in focus, this distance is the image distance. And so this is, looks like, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18.4. Okay. 18. Got that. So we should maybe move it apart another 10 centimeters or so. Yeah, so we're gonna collect some more data to help, um, to help us determine this relationship graphically, right? Uh, so let's move this, let's make this now, instead of 24, we'll do 34. So okay. we'll add 10 centimeters. I'll just move that 10 centimeters. And then moving it made the image go out of focus. <clears throat> so we got to figure out what the, the new image distance is. So I'll just move that. And that looks about the most focus. And that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 centimeters. So it went down as that went up. Right, that's right. Okay, let's keep going, 10 more centimeters. So now, six, six. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 44 centimeters, right? Right. Okay, and then uh, I'll adjust this. Uh, right about there. This is the most focus. Let me just double check. Yeah. And this is 10, 11, 12, 13.6. Okay. Should do a couple more here. All right. We'll do 10 more. And then move that. That looks like it's. It's hard to tell sometimes when the image gets really small, but that looks like it's pretty much in focus. What do you think? Want to take a look? That looks good. Okay, so this is 10, 11, 12, 13. Still check. going down. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, one more. One more should be good. So we'll move that 10 more centimeters. And then we'll adjust this. That looks good right there. 10, 11, 12.4. 10, 11, 12.4, yeah. Okay, that's five data points and I've entered them into this capstone file, which you have access to. 
And so your job is to do the analysis, to look at the relationships between this data, uh, make a graph and come up with a thin lens uh, formula and apply that to some questions.